Jesus over this TikTok live. Whomever joined this tonight is going to be blessed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for the victory. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, it is a happy Sunday. It is a very happy Sunday. I was going to tell people I was going live, but I decided not to. Um, whoever joins is going to be blessed tonight. Um, that is what I'm going to say to you all. And so God has pressed this on my spirit since Friday. So God has spread, uh, he's put this on my spirit. He wanted me to come on here and to pray for people, um, for their finances. Uh, you say you was in the middle of watching one of my, uh, teachers. Well, I'm glad you hopped on sis. Cause you're going to be blessed tonight in Jesus name. So, um, I really wanted to hop on here because God instructed me to do this. He's been speaking to me since Friday. Um, he's been speaking to me since Friday about hopping on here and praying for restoration. Um, I'm going to pray for restoration. Now, this is going to be, you finally got a notification. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So I was going to announce it, but I was like, you know what? Whoever joins, listen, this is how I feel. I'm, I feel like if you join, you supposed to be on here. So that's how I'm, that's how I'm coming with it. Right. So I got a ton of uh, revelation from God uh, concerning what's going to happen. Um, many of you are in financial binds. OK, you are in a financial crisis. Some of you are very unhappy with the positions that you are at. Um, so there's a lot that's going to be released. Um, a lot of you all have marine spirits and you got snakes wrapped around your finances. All right. So we are going to break those spirits. OK, the spirit of poverty, the spirit of backwardness. Um, but I do everything decent and in order. OK, so for the first 10 minutes, we are actually going to thank Jesus Christ. That's what I want you all to start doing. I am going to pray for you all. For, I'm not praying for relationships. I said financial. All right. This might not be the lie for you. Don't take me off course because I'm on a mission. All right. So don't come on here with your agenda. I got God's agenda. All right. This is God ordained tonight. Do not talk to me about your relationships. This ain't the life. Tonight is about finances and restoration in Jesus name. People are struggling financially and God told me to come over here and pray. OK, that's what I'm going to do. This is another thing. This is another thing. Um, there are many of you who are divorced. I want you all to hear me. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me like you ain't never heard me before. I'm going to pray that God sends your kingdom spouse. And y'all know I don't do this. I don't do this. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, God has been pressing me about this. This is why I released the prophetic word about remarriage. Many of you, God got some great plans for y'all. I'm not even joking. A lot of you all have actually, um, a lot, a lot of you all are actually divorced. And you believe that this is the end for you. And I'm here to tell you, sis, and even bro, this is not the end. God is going to send you the man that you are supposed to be with in Jesus name. I want to tell you all that that first hiccup was from the devil. Now, this one is going to come from God in Jesus name. And I'm just going to decree that you all that the that your kingdom spouse comes to you, that you are not going to have to toil for this man. You don't need to fast for this man. You don't need to do all of this interesting stuff. But at the 
at the right time, God is going to release you to marriage in Jesus name. Restoration is going to come. Many of you are actually going to learn how to love effectively because God is going to send the right man to you. I want you all to hear me. What you got the first go round was from the devil. Now God is about to show out for you in Jesus name. Tonight is going to be about restoration. That's why I'm coming on here tonight. Tonight is strictly about restoration. Listen to me. The testimonies and the and and just people sowing into my ministry. When I tell you the manifestation is coming, God told me a lot of people are going to see miracles in the month of May. You heard what I said, miracles in the month of May. Miracles in the month of May. All right. I want you all to understand your age. Don't none of that matter. It doesn't matter if you are 55 years old. There are women that get married in their 70s. It's a lady I work out with. She just got married. Um, You said you just finished writing a, a testimony. Okay, Anna. Anna. So, Anna, is your last name? Do it start with an L? I don't want to say your whole name. But I believe, because I believe you're the one. Let me look at your profile. Because I think, hold on. Okay, yes. All right. So God has been speaking to me about you, Anna, a lot. He's been speaking to me a lot about you. And so God wants me to start speaking to you privately 30 to 45 minutes a week. So I need for you to comment it. On, so you comment it on my YouTube. Great. I'm going to give you my Zoom information because I God wants me to connect with you. Um, for like 30 to 40 minutes, um, he said he wants me to start pouring into you. So he told me this a week ago. So, and you know, it's funny. He told me you was going to be on here. So that's why I was like, when I seen that, I was like, okay, okay. All right. So yeah, he answered your prayer. Yes, he did. So God wants me to specifically pour into you one-on-one, -on -one, um, I, 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 he said like 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll set up a time and we'll get that started. All right. Praise God. Cause he told me you was going to be on here. I don't be, I don't know if you be commenting or I just don't see it. Cause there's so many comments, but it's like, you know, but I'm so glad I seen it tonight. Praise God. Because he's been speaking to me for over a week about you. The last time I was on here, I didn't see your comment and I didn't know if your name was Anna on here. So I was, I didn't know. All right. Um, but, but praise God that worked out because he has, he has literally told me like four times. He was like, I want you to work with her personally. I was like, okay, God. He said, I want you to pour into her weekly. I'm like, okay, God got you. <laughs> You've been praying for that. Okay. Yes, yeah, sis. Yeah. <laughs> you got your, you got your answer. I want to tell you, you definitely got your answer. So you must have been praying hard, honey, because uh, God told me like four times. He was like, when she on your live, you need to say something to her. You need to connect with her weekly. So it's like God, he really wants to do some amazing things in you. And I just kept hearing it. And God was really saying how much he wants to use you. All right. Woo. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That boldness, all of those things that you've been seeking from God, like that, that boldness, there's going to be this boldness that's going to come over you. You know what I'm saying? Especially, <laughs> especially connected to me. You definitely going to be bold. All right. So God is going to use you in a, in a, I'm, I mean, in a very impactful way. And he, he told me that a bunch of times, a bunch of times. So this is how this needs to go. I'm going to pray for finances. I want you all to start, not right now, but I want you all to, when I tell you, I want you to drop in the chat some of the stuff that you are asking God for. Okay. I want you all to do that. I want you all to drop in the chat some of the things that you all are asking God for, but don't do it right now because I want to take this first 10 minutes and I just want to give God thanksgiving and praise. Okay. I want us to thank God because I'm going to tell you all something. Many of you, you know, I don't do this. This ain't even something I do. I don't come on here and do this, but God wants to release stuff to many of you. 
okay? And and I don't try to, you know, I'm not trying to, um, what am I trying to say? Like, I don't want you all to think that this is like random. God was speaking to me about this since Friday. So this is extremely important to God. Um, and this is why I want you all to understand how good of a father he is. God is a good, he is a good dad. He wants to meet all of your needs. Um, and he's actually going to show many of you that he's actually shown a lot of y'all that, um, through sowing into my ministry. Okay. And so when you, when the manifestation and the fruit is there, you don't need to talk. You don't need to do too much because God knows my heart. He knows I'm obedient and I'm willing to do whatever it is he tells me to do. And so this is one of the reasons why, um, hold on. Cause I ain't going, I'm not going to allow myself. He said, Lanny Ford applause. He said, Oh my God. So, but I'm just going to let him say whatever it is he want to say. I don't want to get distracted, um, by people who are just coming on here, just being negative. I really want to stick to the script um, because the manifestation and the fruit is there. And that's all I need to say. I don't even know why he would even comment that because he don't even know me. He don't know anything about my ministry. He don't know nothing. All right. And I just pray that his spiritual eyes and ears be open and enlightened. I pray that he stop trolling people and become fruitful in his own life and stop being critical and judgmental and not knowing anything in Jesus name. Father, open his spiritual eyes and ears. Yeah, that's how I'm going to start doing, y'all. But let's just give God the thanksgiving. Let's just give him the praise. I want you all to start dropping in the chat, just thanking God, because I'm telling you all anything, a lot of stuff that you all are praying for, God is going to release it. Um, I, I told y'all about this a lot, okay? So, and I mentioned this already to you a bunch of times, that there are keys that are given to those who are obedient. This is why Peter was given keys by Jesus Christ. He was given keys by Jesus Christ. Um, um, and the reason why he was given those keys is because of his obedience. So I told you all, there are keys of wealth that God has released to me. And it's kind of evident. It's evident in my ministry. Okay. It's evident in my ministry. I want you all to thank God for anything that you are believing God for. I want you to thank him for it in Jesus name. Just speak as if it is already done in Jesus name. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, Father God. We just plead the blood of Jesus over this life in Jesus name. We come against all demonic distractions. In Jesus name, all of these demonic distractions from the enemy. Father, I'm asking that your will be done on this live. We just employ the angels to be dispatched. Lord, we thank you for the manifestation that has already taken place. I thank you, Father God, that Ephesians 1 and 3 is already in effect over this live. I thank you that every person that is asking God, asking you, God, for anything under your name, and if it is your will, Father God, allow it to happen tonight. And in Jesus name, people that are praying for better job opportunities, people that are praying for better contracts with their businesses, people that want to start businesses, people that want connections and favor. Father God, we are asking that your will be done on this live in Jesus name. We decree that the manifestation of, of, of ooh, the glory. When I tell you all, when I tell you all, God was telling me there are so many miracles, financial miracles that are going to be birthed in Jesus name. I thank you, Father God. I'm going to pray for women and men who desire and know in their heart that they want to be married. They know that they are supposed to be married because I'm going to tell you all that the devil will send you a spouse just as quickly as God was. And let me tell you all something too. When many of you decide to get married and God wants to bless you a a lot of times the counterfeit will come. The counterfeit will come. I, I want y'all to hear me when I tell y'all the counterfeit will come. The counterfeit will always come in Jesus name. The counterfeit comes before the breakthrough. Okay. The counterfeit comes before the breakthrough. Many of you have snakes, actual snakes wrapped around your finances. 
You have snakes wrapped around your finances. And um, God kept telling me that today. It's serpentine spirits that are literally wrapped around your finances. They are choking the life out of your finances. And this is the reason why you can't save. This is why every time you get paid, things keep showing up, popping up and stuff like that. It's a, it's a spiritual snake. Okay, we're going to bind those spiritual snakes tonight in Jesus' name. I'm telling you all, many of you are going to testify. You know, you're going to testify. And I, and every time I say this, it happens. It is so. Because heaven is backing me. This is why I don't need to care about what people say about me. People have been trolling me um, since I started doing TikToks. Okay, there's a girl on here. She literally been going back and forth with me all day long. I didn't work out. Um, I didn't went, I didn't did so much stuff today. I prayed. I was doing all kinds of stuff. She's still on TikTok going back and forth for me. Literally. I didn't been, I didn't been across the town. I didn't done all kinds of stuff. She's still commenting. It is wild to me how people are. You know, but we just thank you, Father God, for your goodness. We thank you, Father God, for what you have already done in your people. Hallelujah to you this evening, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for your manifestation. I thank you, Lord, that you are opening the spiritual eyes and ears of every person that is on here. I decree the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, might, and counsel, and the reverential fear of the Lord will come upon your people tonight. I decree that as I pray for them, Father God, that their finances will be released. Every person under the sound of my voice, that their account right now is in the negative. I decree that the funds will magically appear. I decree that heaven's bank account will release funds into your account. I decree that your account will not be withdrawn. I decree that wealth and riches will be in your house and his righteousness endure forever. I know that God is the God of second chances and he is the God of restoration in Jesus name. I want to pray for people that, that know for a fact God has spoken to you. You, you are divorced. And you know that God has spoken to you about God sending you the right one. And I'm going to pray for that. I'm going to pray that you are going to know when the right man or woman shows up. He is the God of second chances. He is. The fact that people honestly believe that God will not send you a kingdom spouse because you made a mistake and got married to the wrong person. The fact that you think God is that dirty, that he doesn't care about our needs. Why do you think he created Eve for Adam? Is a reason for that. Why in the Bible does it state specifically the only sin that is not forgivable is blaspheming the Holy Spirit? That is the only thing God does not forgive us for. Don't you know that the devil sends you um, people all the time? The devil will send you a spouse in a heartbeat because usually the counterfeit always comes before what God wants to give you. This is why it's so important to stay close to God because you will end up marrying the counterfeit. You gonna marry, You will end up marrying the counterfeit. Many of us have married counterfeits. Many of us have married people out of desperation, wanting your bills to be paid, okay? Do you notice that when you are very, very desperate, you start going through your phone, you start scrolling, you start calling people, you start reverting back to old things that you used to do, you start looking at people that you used to talk to, that's a part of desperation. That's what co compromising, exactly. And what you start doing is you go backwards. This happens to many people. This is the problem. This is the issue with a lot of people. This is a warning, most definitely, for whoever said that you 100% right. 100% right. This is a warning. This is why I'm telling you all. A lot of you all are talking to counterfeits right now. And can I tell you something? You know they counterfeits. You didn't see all these red flags and you're still playing along with it. OK, when you become when you become whole and when you are healed and when God is really working on you, it doesn't matter if you are without a spouse. It doesn't matter if you're single. You could go years with being single. I know women like I know women and men who actually don't even they won't even take care of themselves if they're not in a relationship. Like there is a lot of women that don't believe in, oh, I don't need to get my hair done as much. I don't need to do this. Why wouldn't you care for yourself when you single? Why would you want to only care for yourself when you're in a relationship? That's weird to me. You should always want to look good. You should always care about your appearance. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't make sense to me. 
why wouldn't you care about those things, right? So I just want, I, I wanted to bring that up because God told me specifically to pray um, about people being remarried and that God sends the right spouse to them, okay? Because many of you, you were with the counterfeit. You were with the counterfeit. OK, and so it's important. I, I'm, I want you all to hear me because I really want to hit on this. It's summertime and um, it's about to be nice outside. You know, a lot of people are their desires um, are not pure. Their motives are not pure. And so a lot of us are looking for relationships and we're looking for this attention and we're looking for love. And the thing about it is that you're looking for it in the wrong places, right? And so it causes these counterfeits to come to you. And then a lot of times you can get to a place where you're desperate and then you start reaching out to people, doing stuff that you know is familiar, like reaching out to people that you used to talk to, you know, so you start doing stuff indirectly. So I just want to say that because a lot of us become desperate. We become desperate. And when you become desperate, you make real bad choices. So I really want to speak on that because it's a demonic distraction. And really what it's going to do, you know, I'm, I want to tell you all something. Um, I want to tell you all something. Um, seduce. This is going to be very powerful. You all need to look up the definition of seduce. Do you know what the definition of seduce means? seduce means to alter seduce is a that is a word that you need to look up okay a lot of these people that you are interacting with um they are operating with seducing spirits okay now i'm going to tell you all i'm going to give you some free game a lot of people that do ministry a lot of people that do ministry that are not they're not um from god they operate in seducing spirits. Look up the definition of seducing. It actually means to alter. So I just wanted to drop that in y'all because I'm going to tell you a lot of you all are seducing uh, other people. A lot of you all are meeting people that are seducing you. Okay. You're, you're enticed by them. You're looking at their profile pictures. You're watching them on social media. So this is why I'm bringing this up. And I feel like I need to stay on this for a while before I start praying. Because you already know that I'm coming with some heat. So you already know I was coming with some heat. So before I release these prayers over you, you know that we have to repent. That's a part of the process. So you all know this. OK, so I would I wouldn't be me if I didn't ask God for revelation on what we need to pray about. OK, um, what we need to repent about. So um, I'm, I'm glad that we did the Thanksgiving part. So, you know, I, I really re you all know that I love John in the Bible because I teach repentance. 90% of my ministry is repentance. So the fact that people will call me a false prophet is bananas. I teach repentance. I talk about repentance before I pray or talk to anybody. I'm not even going to talk to you before I ask the Holy Spirit, what do they need to repent for? The fact that people could call me false is crazy. <laughs> so um, I got a laundry list, a laundry list of stuff. So if you want this breakthrough, it would be so wise to don't get under these comments lying. It would be so wise to say something, to comment, because a lot of this stuff you're going to be able to relate to, okay? Um, and the reason why I'm saying this, and let's stop with the typing and let me speak, because you're going to miss out. I don't care about what people calling you crazy. Let's just, let's just stop typing, because I'm going to say a lot of stuff, and I'm going to start praying and asking God for revelation as, as I'm on here, because I want you all to repent, because what God has for you is going to benefit you, not me. So what God has for you is going to benefit you, not me. I want to say that again. So the things that I talk about, I want you all to listen to. Delicious or whatever your name is, you just, that's fine. All right. Obedience is key with me. Okay. Obedience. If people, if, if everybody operate, operate in obedience, the world will be a, a much better place. All right. So we going to take it from the top. All right. Um, so I got a lot of stuff. 
So I, I that's why I want us to just listen. All right. So God revealed to me that many people on here need to repent for the following things. Lust, lusting for co-workers, desperate for relationships, defiling their body, abusing their body with sexual toys, fornication, adultery, um, men cheating on their wives, men lying that they're going to leave their wives, like lying to other women, telling these women that they're going to leave their spouse, abusing their wife. Okay. Malice, jealousy in the heart, spending money on designer things when you actually can't even afford it, spending money on things that you know you should not be spending money on. All right. Being very, very negligent when it comes to your finances. All right. Disobedience. Listen to me. Disobedience. When you were told to sow into ministries, a lot of you, God placed it on your heart to sow into my ministry and you did it out of disobedience. All right. Speaking word curses about me. Speaking word curses about me. Speaking word curses about your children. All right. Um, overdrawing your account when you know you don't have the money in there. Speaking work, being very dishonorable at your job, being very dishonorable at your job, lying and scamming the government, having no integrity when it comes to money. You have no integrity with money. You don't try to save money. You spend your whole paycheck every single time you get paid. All right. Lying. Because I keep hearing lying, um, negligent with the kids. Let's talk about the kids. Many of you leave your kids at home so that you can go link up with men and women. Many of you, let some boy, I'm, a, I'm even hearing that there are men on here right now. You have actually left home with your wife to go to go link with a sneaky link. I don't think you going I don't think that you're going to be honest on here cuz men struggle with pride. That's also another thing, repenting for pride. Repenting for pride. Repenting for pride. Now I just said a whole bunch of stuff. Now we need to really flood this chat with the truth. So I'm just going to allow you all to be thank you all. Thank you. So Coco disobedient and what? Disobedient how? La samboya, la shia, la cambraya, la kia, la candelia. Yeah, you repent for having a sneaky link. Okay, that's good. Yes, a repent for adultery. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. There's a lot of men on here that's watching me and they just watching. I want you all to repent for witchcraft. I don't know why men don't speak up. Why, why the men not talking? Why ain't the men speaking up? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Repent for jealousy. Repent for lying. Okay, I repent for lying at my job. I repent for desperate for a husband. Thank you. I repent for overdrawing my account. Yes, yes, yes. Being a bad steward when it comes to money, when it comes to finances. I want the men on here that abuse that are abusive to their wives. I want you all. You shouldn't even be on this live if you're not going to be honest. What you on here for? La Kamboya, la Sindalia, la She. You need to be honest. A lot of a lot of abuse, a lot of verbal abuse, a lot of verbal abuse. There's a lot of negligence when it comes to parenting your kids and leaving your kids with anybody. There's a lot of you that do that, leaving your kids, being negligent, going to link up with different people. Yes, um, because this is a big thing. A lot of you all do this and then you put your kids in harm's way, especially leaving your kids with people. Um, you can't just throw your kids off on people like that. Negligent parents. I want the negligent parents. I want you all to comment. Is there something else I can help it? La Samboya, la Chandelio, la Simbreo, la Si, la Umbrea, la la Umbrea. Yeah, idolizing is a big one. It's a big one. Anything that you put before God, that's an idol. You repent for calling psychics. Yes. Thank you. A lot of witchcraft because that's the thing. And I want to tell you all that rebellion is witchcraft. So there's a lot of people that I call a witch. That doesn't mean that she does spooky stuff and all of that, right? She could be in rebellion because God considers you a witch. 
So I want you all to understand that when you're rebellious, you're considered a witch. Just so we clear, a lot of you all need to repent for doing real witchcraft though. Okay. A lot of you all have crystals. You have tapped into all kinds of stuff. A lot of you all spend hours watching all of these woke people and you don't spend no time in the word. You know who I'm talking to on here. Cause you spend hours watching this, all this, um, what's the guy name? He in jail now though. What was his name? Dang. Rashad Jamal. Rashad Jamal, all these woke dudes. La Samboyi, La Chandelio, La Sambria. I don't know if somebody... Re I know it's a lot of repenting going on. I know it's a lot of repenting. Talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, you need to repent for that. Spending hours watching this stuff. A lot of you all have done a lot of witchcraft. A lot of witchcraft. Yeah, he been in jail. He been in jail for a long time. He been in jail for a long time. Yeah, and he did something very interesting. But I'm not going to speak on that on here. Yeah, but that's just that. Yeah, I want you all to really repent wholeheartedly. I want you all to repent wholeheartedly. I don't know. I just think it's just so weird to me that a lot of men don't like to speak up about certain things. Um, and so I'm just glad that you even was on here and you heard it. So even if you don't respond, you actually heard the truth. I even noticed the numbers went down. The numbers went down. The number was at three. It said the number at 350. But when I started saying something about the men, it's like the numbers shouldn't go down. You should be repenting. Why are you married if you are not going to treat your spouse right? That doesn't make sense to me. You need to repent. You really need to repent. As a lot of you that worry, you worry excessively, but you do nothing about the worrying, a lot of gossip, a lot of slander, a lot of word curses that you have spoken, um, abuse to your own body with sexual toys, abuse to your own body by using sexual toys. That's how I'm a word that that's how I'm a word it. But y'all know what I'm saying? Abuse to your body with sexual toys. All right. Yes. Yes, definitely. Lukewarmness for real, for real. Gossip on the job, gossiping about your family, gossiping with others. A lot of the women that are on here, you gossip about your husbands really badly. I want you all to speak up. You crying. The conviction is real. Most definitely. Most definitely. Because that's that good old Holy Spirit. He going to get you. He going to get you together every time. He going to get you together every time. A lot of you all gossiping about your husbands. A lot of you all are very resent. Uh, you have a lot of resentment towards your spouse. I'm hearing that clear as day. You have like a lot of you women, you have like actual hatred towards your husband. That's what I'm hearing. There's a lot of unforgiveness that I'm hearing. There's a lot of you that need to repent for unforgiveness concerning your spouse. Can we do that? Can we be honest on here? Thank you. Somebody said something. Somebody said something. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. But oh my God. Yes. What? Gossiping about your husbands is a very, I repent for resentment and unforgiveness of my husband. Yes. Thank you. You got to start being honest before God. Okay. You got to be honest with God. You have to be honest with God. Um, God is telling me that many of you need to repent. He's giving you all a lot of signs. He's giving you all a lot of signs about a lot of things and you have ignored it. He's giving you all dreams. He show he's giving you revelation. Some people have even spoke words to you and you are still ignoring God's voice. Some of you are just in plain disobedience. Some of you have heard the audible voice of God and you still disobedient. Who am I talking to? Because you struggle with a lot of fornication. A lot of fornication. I want you, a lot of the women on here, I'm hearing a lot of women need to repent for comparing themselves. You need to repent for comparing yourself and jealousy in your heart towards other women. Okay, I want you all to do that, especially for the comparison part. You should never compare yourself to nobody. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. There was a lady on Instagram today. And you know what she asked me? She said, uh, what type of lashes do you get? 
So, and I told her, I said, listen, this is what you should do. The next time you get your lashes done, you need to ask the lash tech how, what's the, what's a good, what's a good way that I can wear my lashes that complements my eye shape. You should never want to get lashes like somebody random that you see online. You should never do that. And that's the reason why a lot of people don't like my personality because I, I'm going to correct you all the time. Somebody else asked me, how much weight are you lifting? Why are you asking me how much weight am I lifting? What I'm doing has nothing to do with you. Everybody needs to run their own race. Everybody has to run their own race. So you can't ask me what I'm doing because what I'm doing might not be suitable for you. You don't know how long I've been working out. You don't know anything. You don't know my strength level. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody. You have to run your own race. And this is the issue. And this is why a lot of people have issues with me because I correct them all the time. Don't ask me what I'm doing. You need to get in your own lane and you need to find out what it is that you should be doing. See, that's the key. That's the key that we're missing. These could be a strip lash. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got to get out of this habit of wanting to be just like somebody else. Be like yourself. I love individuality. You have to be your own self. This is why I'm not like anybody else. I'm not like anybody else. And I don't want to be like anybody else. I don't want to be compared to anybody that do ministry. I don't want that. I don't want people telling me, oh, you remind me of this person. When people do that, I'm like, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't compare me to her because to in actual reality, we're nothing alike. If people compare me to the same person, they'll say her name all the time. I'm like, we don't prophesy alike. We don't do anything alike. I'm nothing like her. Stop comparing me to her. Compare me to somebody in the Bible. If you're going to compare me to somebody, let it be somebody that's really on fire for God. Don't, don't compare me to anybody. Lesson, boy, y'all. Lesson. A lot of you all need to repent for fear. I'm hearing fear. A lot of you all are very fearful. You're fearful. A lot of you, I'm just hearing this under the sound of my voice. Under the sound of my voice. A lot of you all have had testimonies and you did not tell me out of fear. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? A lot of you all have had testimonies and you didn't tell me out of fear. Who am I talking to? Because I know what I just heard. Who am I talking to? Because I, I, want, I want the truth. <laughs> God has actually said, many of you have gotten blessed and you held out on telling the truth. You, you held out on your testimony because of fear. I didn't tell my testimony because of people reaction. I don't know what that means. Um, So... You said, I definitely repent for fear, not springing forward for fear. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So that's interesting, Anna, that you just said that because that's something God told me about you, that you struggle with fear a lot. You said in the dream, you asked, why was was I mad or think you mean for being honest? We sat and had lunch. Hold on. Um, Somebody, I think somebody telling me about a dream they had about me. Hold on. Um, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. There's not enough going on in this world that you will allow a spirit of fear to grip you. So I don't agree with that statement, um, at all, but there's a lot of people that they're, that's typing. So I couldn't see everything. Um, but yeah, fear is the big one. So that's also something I'm going to, I'm just going to pray this stuff. Uh, I'm just going to pray these things. Hold on one second. 
One second. I'm just going to bind the spirit of fear off of many of you um, as I pray. Because I'm just going to call stuff out, you know, and I'm just going to flow. A lot of it, I'm going to pray in my heavenly language because God knows y'all needs way more than what I know. Okay. He knows your needs. So, and I just want to pray in my heavenly language as God gives me things. I'm just going to speak them out. Uh, but I really want to pray concerning finances. And I really want to pray concerning restoration for many people. There's a lot of people that are on here that need to say stuff that ain't saying nothing. And I don't know why you're on here. Okay. I don't know why you're on here. All right. I don't know why you're on here. If you're not going to be open, if you're not going to be honest, if you are not going to get what God has for you, you either on here trolling or you just not saying anything. You repent for not revealing how your ministry has blessed me. Thank you. Because I know I heard it. Thank you, sis. There's a lot of people need to say that. There's a lot of people that have not even given me their testimony. I don't know why. I don't know why. That's baffling to me. If I was prophet lovey, y'all would be telling it. All right. If I was anybody else, y'all would be telling it. You will be telling these testimonies, baby. It's like y'all just be holding out. It'd be so much. God has been speaking to me for months. For months, it grieved my spirit when God started telling me this. You know what I started doing? I started speaking about it. I was like, y'all being blessed and y'all not saying nothing. Y'all being blessed. And then that's when people start giving their testimonies. I'm like, this is crazy. Why aren't y'all saying anything? Why aren't you speaking up on it? As soon as God bless me with something, I'm finna speak on it. I'm telling everybody. I'm making videos. I'm doing everything. I would never withhold this information. <laughs> I don't understand that. There's so many people that should give their testimonies and they haven't. You say, I want to thank you for blessing me when I didn't have money for groceries. Yes, you are very welcome. You are very, very welcome. Hallelujah. So I'm going to start praying. So I want you all to start dropping in the chats. Um, hmm. I feel like God was telling me that a lot of you all are in need. These are the things that God told me. In need of a vehicle, uh, groceries, promotions, uh, new jobs, favor with your bills, unexpected checks. Like these are some of the things that is going to happen um, to, after this, uh, after I pray. So this is also something that I'm going to do going forward. You say all of the above. <laughs> So this is some of the stuff that I'm going to pray for. Um, and I'm going to start doing this when I go live. I'm going to start praying for finances a lot. Okay. Because God's people are always at the back of the line. And I'm going to start doing this. All right. I am going to start doing this internship. Okay. Uh, financial increase, home ownership. La Samboya, la Candelio, la Shia, la Cumbrea, la Sandalia, la Sile, Umbrea, la Candelio. Your car messed up out of the blue. Yeah. Could be a spirit of poverty. La Chandelio, la Samboya, la Key, la Umbrea, la Candelio. Okay, so this is another thing that God dropped into my spirit. This is another thing that God dropped into my spirit. And I'm going to say it because I used to be, um, I'm not going to lie. I used to be afraid to discuss certain things, but the way the, the, the testimonies and the people that are, um, coming forth with all of these testimonies and stuff, it has given me a new sense of peace because God was telling me months ago, before I even started telling y'all, I kind of thought I was tweaking, but God was telling me like these people are really being blessed and they're not telling you anything. God told me that. He said, they're not saying anything to you. Soon as I said that the floodgates open, people start speaking on it. Some people, they actually act like they had an attitude and didn't even want to tell me. And I just think that's crazy. Okay. God told me it's over a hundred people that he's laid it on your heart to sow into my ministry. 
And that's all I'm going to say. He's laid it on your heart to sow and you will not sow. You join my lives. You hop on here. You speak. You act real fake and phony. But you but you have a lot of dishonor in your heart. And that's all I'm going to say. Because I'm not on here begging y'all for nail nada. Just so we clear. So don't misconstrue nothing that I said. But everything I say comes straight from my paw paw which is Jesus Christ. And this is the word that he gave me. Many of you would be way further ahead if you didn't have so much dishonor and hatred towards my ministry. Because a lot of you all need to repent for the way that you've talked about me. But you ain't gonna, you're not going to be honest about that. You say your ministry blessed me so much. God gives me specific, uh, specific amounts to sow. Definitely. God tells you specifics every time. Most definitely. He going to always tell you. Yeah. And so um, here's the thing. I returned your seed. The best thing you could do is go to God and ask him, why did I return your seed? <laughs> ask God. Because it's like y'all get offended when I return your seed. So number one, if you sold into my, I don't have makeup on. I don't have no makeup on. Like, I don't have any makeup on. Um, I don't beg. I don't have to. Because number one, God God speaks to 90% of y'all to sow. So I don't have to beg. It's not about me begging. Because I sow into ministries. This is a part of, this is a part of the gospel. This is what we're supposed to do. If you're always on my lives and you never sow, you are dishonorable. Just so you, just so we clear and God is not okay with that. So it's, it's not about me begging. I don't have to beg. God does the, he does the work. He speaks to many of you about sowing and you don't sow. This is good ground. I give good revelation. I'm consistent. I'm always on here all the time. God tells me to sow into ministries. So I can't even imagine me constantly allowing somebody to pour into me and I not sow. I would feel uncomfortable. I would never join somebody be like just being blessed so much and never so. It just shows that you're very dishonorable. So I just wanted to speak on that because God will tell you, you say, I sold into your ministry and I got my highest paying and longest business contract. Okay. But you never even told me that, uh, Miss Cloud Mama. You never told me that. Or did you? I don't know. Maybe you did. I don't know. Did you tell me that? I appreciate you telling me that, but it's, that's the thing. I want you all to understand it is complete dishonor, complete. I, a person could sow into me one time. Every person that I come across, I sow into them, but I have honor. <laughs> that's the difference. Okay. So it's not, it has nothing to do with begging. I would never beg. I would never beg because you don't have to beg. God has told me he's spoken to you all to sow. So God has already placed it on your heart. You just don't do it. That's the thing. So it's nothing. It has nothing to do with me begging. All right. Um, you repent for not consistently sowing. You know, because you're stopping your own breakthroughs, and that's the reason why I'm bringing this up. Because God brings this up to me. How is it that I knew that so many people were being blessed and didn't tell me? It's so many people. When I started, I just said, you know what? I'm finna post this. And then so many people started telling me about all these blessings. I'm like, why didn't y'all say anything? Like, why wouldn't you? Why would you join my live all of this time and never so? That makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. I listened to one live. I might get one thing out of that. I'm like, I'm finna sow into them. Honor. I don't have to feel ashamed of saying any of that. I would not I don't have to beg because God has already told you so into my daughter. I would never get on here and beg. That's not even who I am. But I just wanted to put that out there um, just for the people in the back. All right. Just for the ones that think that that's not how the gospel works. Because I listen to people and God tell me to sow. I sow into ministries. I do what my daddy tell me to do. All right. So that's how we're going to leave that. Um. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to say that because he told me to mention it like three times. So that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, you told me a couple of days ago. Okay. See, y'all had different names. So I didn't know. Um, how can you sew? So my cash app and my PayPal is getting to know him. Genesis Porter. Cause apparently there's an imposter. 
So my name is Genesis Porter. That's why I have Genesis Porter on my thing. Um, a lot of you all have, I want to start praying for y'all. I really want to start praying for y'all um, because I don't want to be on here all night long, but I do want to start praying. Um, I wanted to say these things. This, um, that's interesting. I repent for idolizing my husband. Hmm. Wow. Um, so anyway, I just want to start praying for you all. I don't know if you all dropped in the chat, but God started speaking to me. I'm just going to start decreeing things concerning your finances. All right. Um, I want to start decreeing things concerning your finances. God was speaking to me. See, when I pray for people, I don't say a lot of, um, I don't know. I speak the word of God. Okay, I speak the word of God and I speak specifics. Uh, I, I try to stay specific to that. One of the things that God told me was um, the snakes, the snakes. Um, I kept hearing snakes. All right. Snakes wrapped around the finances. All right. So, Father God, we just lift up your people that are on here. OK, the ones that are truly on here for the right reason. I just want to say that because there are some people on here that are not on here for the right reason. All right. But for the people that are listening under the sound of my voice for the right reasons, Father, I just want to lift them up before you. We bind the spirit of backwardness that is on these people right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every attack against their finances. I decree right now under the sound of my my voice, every snake that is wrapped around your finances. I decree right now that those snakes are being torn, like torn in half in the realm of the spirit. I decree that every snake wrapped around your finances will drink the blood of Jesus. I decree that those snakes will be tormented in the realm of the spirit and they will no longer have an effect over your finances. We bind the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ that is attached to your finances in Jesus name. I decree that everyone under the sound of my voice, that account is overdrawn. It will no longer be withdrawn. I decree that these people will pull from heaven's bank account, Father God, and let your will be done in Jesus' name. We bind the spirit of anxiety. We bind the spirit of oppression off of your people. We bind the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that the joy of the Lord will come upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Unexplainable joy in the name of Jesus. I decree that when these spirits try to speak to them, that they will be silenced. I decree that there will be a muzzle placed on their mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, you said you've given me authority to trample over snakes, over scorpions, over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm your people. I decree that wealth and riches will be in their house. I decree that they will not need the government. I decree that vehicles, I decree that they will find favor with people and the people that are on here that need a vehicle, that someone will give it to them in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that the favor of God will come upon your people. I decree that home ownership will come upon your people. I decree that unexpected checks in the mail will come upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree supernatural wealth transfer will take place in the month of May. Father, I'm asking that your will be done. Every person that needs a vehicle, Father God, I'm asking that you create a way for your people in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree promotions. I decree even right now under the sound of my voice, many of you are on jobs. Listen to me. You are on jobs right now. They are going to create new job opportunities for you. I'm hearing that clear as day. They're actually going to make up a job and going to and you're going to get more money. Like, you know how jobs, they'll create like different opportunities. That's what's going to happen in Jesus name. I just decree that over your people. I decree that these snakes in the name of Jesus will no longer have an effect in the name of Jesus. I decree that the angels of war are being dispatched. I decree that these snakes will be torn into pieces in Jesus name. We just plead the blood of Jesus right now. I decree that wealth and riches are in their houses right now, Father God. I decree increase right now in the name of Jesus, especially increase, supernatural increase. 
wealth that comes from heaven, not from the um the wealth from this from this world. In Jesus' name, I decree wealth. I decree promotions. I decree favor, even with your bills this week. In the name of Jesus, I decree that things will just be paid off out of nowhere. Father God, we're just asking that it be done. Unexpected checks will show up in the mail. I decree anybody that is looking for their taxes. I decree that you will get a double portion. We are decreeing that over your people right now, Father God. We just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every person's bank account. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah to your name. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father God. We praise you, Father God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have done. I'm really hearing a lot of favor. A lot of favor is coming to many of you in the name of Jesus. Favor on your job. Favor even in your marriages in the name of Jesus. We are just decreeing for restoration as it pertains to these marriages in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm asking that your will be done in their marriages. I'm asking, Father God, that you open their spirit eyes and ears. I'm asking Father God that the spirit of wisdom will come over these women and men who are married. I'm asking Father God that you Holy Spirit convict the hearts of every man that was on these on, on my live tonight and did not repent. Father convict their hearts. Convict their hearts, the malice, the hard heartedness, the pride that they have. Father God convict their hearts in Jesus name. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the manifestation, for the miracles, for the testimonies, Father God. Father, you said in Philippians 4 and 19, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I decree Philippians 4 and 19. I decree Ephesians 1 and 3 over your people. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed your people with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Third John 1 and 2, I decree over you. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and, and that you may be in good health even as your soul prospers. I decree that their souls will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Third John 1 and 2 is a very powerful scripture because this is also a part of restoration. Every person um, under the sound of my voice that is divorced, and you know God has spoken to you about remarriage. I just decree right now that that kingdom spouse that Jesus Christ of Nazareth have for you, that he will come and she will come. I decree that God will make it plain. I decree that people will even prophesy to you. I decree that you will even have dreams and you will get a confirmation. I decree that if a counterfeit tries to come, that you will get a check in your spirit and you will know immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that you will, that this man and this woman will love you with a love from God that is not like the love that you have ever experienced, not even from your parents I'm hearing in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will be restored as a result of this union because it is going to be ordained by God and not the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose the blood of Jesus. I decree the spirit of wisdom and I just decree that restoration is coming to your people, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, and I know that it is so. In the name of Jesus, it is so. In the name of Jesus, restoration in Jesus' name. I just keep hearing that restoration. Restoration is like a word that I just keep hearing over and over. A lot of restoration is coming to your people. Every man, every woman. I decree that the men that are even on here, any woman that tries to be Jezebelic, any woman that you know is not from God, I'm asking that every man that they don't think with their members and that they use the wisdom of God. It don't matter how fast she is, how big her buddy is. Don't none of that matter. You need to find the right wife. You need to find the wife that God has for you, not a Jezebel, not a woman that wants to leech off of you, not a woman that wants to use you. These are the things that you, a lot of you men need to look out for. Not a woman that doesn't know how to bridle her tongue, not a woman that doesn't, that has a bad attitude all the time. You know what I'm saying? So not a woman that don't even take care of herself. <laughs> oh yeah. So that's another thing. All right. Um, Cause I always speak on the women 
But I really want to speak on the men because it's a lot of controlling, manipulative, trifling women. All right? A lot of them. That these people have the right motives. This is another thing, too, because um, you just have to ask God to expose motives. Like, because God will expose their motives to you. See, God understands the heart of a man. We don't understand his like people's heart because we're not God, but God will expose their heart. That's a prayer. I want you all to pray that anybody right now, you're dating people. Um, if you're dating anybody, um, and you 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 know you want to fence, ask God to expose their motives. Do that. Do it. He'll do it. Ask God to expose their motives. Listen to me. If you if you hang around me, you are not you will not be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me enough, you will not be fooled. You will not be fooled at all, okay? So start asking God to expose the motives of the people that you are around. And please start doing that. Every person that you come across. I don't even care if it, the person, this don't even have to be a person that you're dating. It could be a person in general. Many of you, I'm just hearing clear as day that the churches that you are attending are not from God. You are going to churches that God is not pleased with. A lot of you have gotten signs. A lot of you have gotten dreams. Um, and so, la cambriola, sandaliola, she la umbrella, la candelio. So I'm just hearing a lot of you all have gotten a lot of dreams. You've gotten a lot of dreams. You've seen stuff at the churches. You know things are not right, but you are still going there because you want to be attached to a ministry. Okay. And God wants you to attach him. He wants you to attach yourself to him. You're not attached to God. It's not scary. It's not. It's not. You need to be in right standing with the father. You need to be doing everything that God has called you to do. You all need to start asking God, am I planted at the right church? I'm hearing that clear as day. You need to start doing it. Take this as a take this as a warning. Ask God these things. Am I going to the right church, Father? Is this a church that you are pleased with? Does my pastor meditate on scripture? Does my pastor read the Bible? Does my pastor fast? A lot of y'all don't even need to do this because you know he don't do none of this stuff or she. That you know they don't because they're not even telling you to do it. <laughs> so it's kind of obvious. But, you know, for the ones in the back who still need confirmation, you all need to do this. It is. Oh, it don't matter if you go to a Pentecostal. It don't matter if you go to a Baptist. They don't have anything to do, Tabitha, with what I'm saying. OK, and that what I just said went right over your head. It don't matter if you Pentecostal. It don't matter if you the Antichrist. I said, pray about what your pastor is doing when you are not in that pulpit. That is what you need to do. Leaders need to be held accountable if they are not operating um, in God's best. God would have every leader to be obedient, to be fasting, to be reading the word. You cannot lead a sheep if you are not, if you don't, if you don't love the Bible and you don't love the Holy Spirit. So being Pentecostal, being Trinity, what y'all be seven day Adventists, all this stuff y'all be saying, that don't have anything to do with God. I'm non-denominational. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit and I believe Father God. That's it. All that other stuff you can have. That don't mean anything to God. Okay. My ministry and my denomination is Holy Spirit because that's who controls me. That's who orchestrates my life in Jesus name. All right. So I'm giving you all some wisdom that you all need to do. You need to find out a lot of you all are attached to the wrong ministries. You are attached to the wrong ministries. I'm going to keep saying that and I'm going to keep on speaking on it. All right. You are attached to the wrong ministries and that's it. So ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, are you pleased with this pastor? OK, is this pastor after your own heart? You know, you can ask these things. You know, you can ask God, does this pastor have your heart? Yeah, that's why that's why in the Bible it said David was a man that was after God's own heart. That is so powerful. That is so powerful. He was after God's own heart. <laughs> that is so just to for God to say that about you is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like when I if you want to compare me, that's why I say compare me to somebody in the Bible. He spoke so highly of Abraham. He spoke so, do you know in the Bible, it says that John, there would never be another like John. 
Do you know that Jesus Christ said that about John? He said there will never be another like him. How powerful is that? How powerful is that? He said it will never be another like John. What? I would love for God to say that about me. So that's why I said, cause you want to compare me? Don't compare me to these people that y'all think is, that y'all think safe, because they not. They bone collectors. There's a lot of bone collectors. That's all they doing is collecting bodies, taking people money. Um, and that's that. And that's that. If you've been fasting, ooh, la samboya, la shine. I'm not finna say nothing. Some of y'all been fasting with a ministry for ye for like a year, for over a year, and you ain't seen no manifestation. You watch me a lot, and you so confused because you've been attached to this ministry. You fasting with this ministry. You don't see no fruit. But then every time you join my live, everybody got all these testimonies. Now, if you're fasting with these people all of this time, what does that tell you? Can you speak up? Because I know you on here. I want you to be bold. Speak up because you're on here. <laughs> you are on here. No, you don't see no fruit. You don't see, you don't see no manifestation of anything. Please speak up. Please. Please speak up. <laughs> she said, got him. <laughs> Please. I just want you to speak up because you are on here. You listen to me. You listen to my lives and everything. You listen to my lives. You said it's me. Thank you, Passion. Thank you. Thank you. You said I was in it. You said you was in it too, like you was a part of a ministry. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for being honest because I'm like, I just got that revelation like, bam, a lot of y'all attached to these ministries, y'all fasting, y'all doing all these fasts, all these corporate fasts. It ain't no corporate manifestation. The Holy Spirit is not in that. Can I tell y'all something? Let me give y'all some game. Let me just give you some game. Um, The Holy Spirit told me that I used to fast in fear. Like I have a dream about something. It, I have like a real bad dream. I'll be like, oh, I'm for the fast. I'm for the fast. Because I was so like, I was like overly, I was overly fasting. Everything that happened, oh, I'm for the fast. I'm for the fast. I'm for the fast. I was doing that. Okay. And God told me a lot of the times you were fasting out of fear. He said, my grace is sufficient, daughter. I got you. You don't have to fast for everything. Okay. Ain't no way possible. If, if I was to fast for over a year with a ministry, we'd be raising the dead in Jesus name. Everybody that's attached to me will be a multimillionaire. What? Every time we pray for people, the manifestation would be there. You make no sense. When I do this mentorship, when I start this mentorship, anybody I mentor moving forward because I because God has really done a work on my heart posture, these people are going to be extremely fruitful. Extremely fruitful. Like you're going to see what it looks like to be under the right ministry. Just hold on. Just hold on. We coming home. <laughs> yeah, you going to see. Because I'm going to be posting these testimonies. Because God is with me. There's a difference. There's no way you should be listening to people and you just constantly fasting with them. There's no manifestation of God at all. But the person that's doing all the fasting, you see all the fruit in them. Because you know why? Let me give y'all some game. I want to give y'all some game tonight. You know that the devil is all up and through the church. You do know that the devil loves to deceive people. You do know that there are people that do ministry that sign contracts with the devil. I digress because I don't want to get too deep for y'all. So I'm just going to leave that there. So he's actually paying some of these people. Some of these people are actually getting paid buku dollars. They're multimillionaires. <laughs> they're multi-millionaires because they're signing contracts with the devil. There's a lot of people that do ministry that's operating like that. Yeah, that's why they're so rich and then all these people are so broken because these they're bone collectors. No, I can't go deep. I can't. No, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't go deep. That's the deepest I'm going to go because God has told me a lot of the stuff that I talk about, I need to say for when I mentor. It's not going to be for the public. I can't share a lot of stuff. I can't. You know what I'm saying? For good reasons. And then there's witches on here. There are witches on here. 
There's people that operate in a lot of witchcraft that watch me very, very closely. They lock in. They be in the middle of doing stuff. If they get a notification that I'm on live, they're on here. There are religious people on here that are very greatly offended at me. I've given them correction. I've blocked them. They're actually monitoring me. There's a whole group of people that call me a false prophet. Some of them are on here tonight. Okay. Yeah. So I can't, I wouldn't even want to do that because I don't even, I hate the fact that they even listen to me. I wish it was a way that I can actually block all of them because I would. Blocking is powerful. Blocking means you take your power back. I love to block people and people get very angry because they feel as if they can come on my platform and say whatever they want to say. That's not how that works. Because <laughs> I troll back. Yeah. So you come on my page, you start calling me. a. Um, there was a girl calling me a false prophet today, saying all kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, they, it's a girl. Um, you can make your account subscription only. You know what's funny? I was thinking about that. Number one, they're so locked in and invested in me. They'll actually pay to be a part of it. So I was going to do that, but no. When I tell you the, they have, God told me there's an obsession. There's an, obs they have an obsessive spirit. That's what they have. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I love blocking people. Oh, definitely. It's, it's very powerful. See, I'm the, I felt like I was the only person cause it's interesting. Um, a lot of people that do ministry, I would never let. So like, that's another thing too. I look at the comments people make. I don't allow people, you know why I block negative comments? This is another thing. So when people post negative comments, a lot of people are so negative online, they'll start liking it and commenting. People will start like, they'll start a whole hate party and you can't do that. See, I take the control away from people and they don't like that because a lot of people that do ministry, they just let all this stuff be um, public. You know what I'm saying? And they don't say anything. I'm not doing that. And then they'll lie and they'll be like, oh, I don't be online. But then they post all the time. So you is online a lot because you post content like every day. So it's interesting. I read the comments for a reason because if you're being very negative, yes, I'm going to delete it because you need to go find you some business and do that where you belong, all right? Because I notice a lot of people, 97% of the people that troll me, they don't get, they don't have no views. They have very low likes. They got, they following two, they, they following like 3,000 people, but only 200 people following them. Their pages is private. They have flowers. It's very bizarre. But they got all this deep revelation that be completely off. But they have so much to say under my comments. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people that I don't agree with. I don't troll them. I don't troll them. I don't bother them. I don't say negative things. I leave them alone because here's the thing. The one of the things that I try to really stand on is you not depending on me. I don't want anybody to depend on me because if God is not in my midst, I can't do anything. I want to say that again. I would never do anything outside of God's will. OK, I never not one time Belinda said that it mattered what people think about me. I never, ever said that. I said, Belinda, that I remove negative comments because it creates negative hate threads on my page. And I control what's going on on my page. You completely took that off. OK, you completely misunderstood every single thing that I said. I could care less. These people are fruitless. Do you know the things that are going to happen to people that call me false prophets? OK, we need to be praying for these people. All right. God is backing me and God does not play about me at all. You completely took that the wrong way. All right. So I just want to clear that up. It's, it does not matter about what they saying about me. Everything they saying about me is false. It is a lie. It is a complete lie, all right? And they are going to be very remorseful and sorry for, for the things that they've done. That's all I'm going to say, all right? 
but you took that the wrong way. And I didn't even say that. I said that I don't allow people to say negative stuff in my comments. I don't leave those comments up because you don't get to spread hatred. The revelation that I'm getting is coming straight from the Holy Spirit. So you're disrespecting God when you're going against what I'm saying. I have a reverential fear of the Lord and I don't like it because I will stand 10 toes down for anything that God tells me to say and do. I don't care. If you all notice I go against everything people say nothing that I prophesy anything that I say is not like what you're hearing because it's coming from God okay and that's just that you're not going to get under my comments and get to say what you want to say people was trying to go off on me about remarriage do you know the negativity and the hatred that people was was leaving under my comments it was bananas it was bananas for real you know, the type of time that these people put in to watching and monitoring and stuff like that. Meanwhile, their lives are going nowhere. So that's the reason why I'm saying that it's no, you do not get to spread all that negativity. We're not doing that. Not at all. You have to move on. <laughs> you have to move on. All right. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to come live um, on a Monday. Um, tomorrow's Monday. Yeah, so tomorrow so tomorrow afternoon um I am going to I'm going to probably come on here around 12. Um yeah, around 12 o'clock. Um 11:30 12 o'clock ish. I want to pray again concerning the um spirits of poverty. I'm going to do this often. Um no, we're not allowed to message me because do you know how many messages I would get? So what I want you to do Tabitha is watch my content. My content on here and on YouTube is very, very beneficial. Um, my YouTube name is Getting to Know Him. And so, yeah, and I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and then I pop up a lot. Yesterday, you are very welcome. Um, I didn't get a chance to come on here because I was really busy. My daughters are in sports and stuff, so I didn't get a chance. But I knew I needed to come on here today because God told me you have to go live today. I want to pick this up again tomorrow. So I'm going to go live tomorrow around 1130 or 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. All right. One of the things that I want to start doing is praying a lot more, okay? I want to start praying concerning finances. I'm going to start praying concerning restoration. I want to start praying that people, um, you know, the, a lot of restoration when it comes to marriages. I want to really start doing that a lot when I go live before I give my message. That is something that I'm going to start doing regularly, all right? All right. I love you all. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus name. Um, how can you sow into my ministry? My cash app and my PayPal is getting to know him. And my name is Genesis Porter, P-O-R-T-E-R. -E all right. I love you too. I love you all very much. Um, yes, I love you all so much. You will see me tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be very, very powerful. I love you too. Um, tomorrow's going to be very powerful. Um, and I'm going to continue. I want to start praying a lot more. I want to start praying a lot more. Um, TikTok was very discouraging for me at first. You said, sister, I sold into your ministry and my school released the stipend. Amen. Amen. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> Thank you. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, so mentorship, that is something that is going to happen as of, you know, in the future, definitely. Um, but not right now. Um, you have a great night. I love you too. All right. You, you all will see me tomorrow around 1130 or 12 central standard time. You all have an amazing rest of your night.